My name is Lars Beider. I'm the director of the Marine Mammal Research Program at the University of Hawaii. I'm a conservation biologist that focuses on uh, marine mammals. So that's uh, whales and dolphins, uh, mainly here in the Hawaiian Islands, but also internationally. We have more than 20 species of whales and dolphins. Uh, and of those, we probably study between eight and 10 of those. Uh, and each one of those have different conservation issues and pressures uh, that we're trying to inform on. The most iconic species we have here in Hawaii is the humpback whale that spends about three months a year here uh, on their breeding ground. So we study the humpback whales, we study the Hawaiian monk seals, which are only found here in Hawaii. We have spinner dolphins, which is a very coastal species that we study. Uh, we study pilot whales uh, and false killer whales. Some generic threats for all of them are entanglements, uh, ship strikes, noise pollution, and climate change. And depending upon which species, some are more or less affected by each of these. Using innovative technology, such as drones and tags, we're starting to get a good understanding of how humpback whales change from year to year based on climatic events. Uh, for example, a few years ago, when there was a large heat wave across the North Pacific, we saw significant declines in humpback whale health or body condition. Uh, which shows us how closely these animals' health are linked to climate. Uh, the two main new technologies that we use are uh, calibrated drones uh, and suction cup tags. The suction cup tags we use across species, so humpback whales, pilot whales, false killer whales, uh, monk seals. Um, so we apply these uh, onto those animals and acquire an incredible wealth of data. The drones we use to estimate body condition and health of individuals and populations, and we use those across all of the different species that are here in Hawaii. We have collected the world's largest database on humpback whale health. And when I say health, it's body condition. And body condition is something that we can measure through uh, drones. Uh, using calibrated lenses and custom fit altimeters, we're able to fly these instruments over the animals uh, and doing that again and again and again over the same animals across ocean basins. So the breeding grounds here in Hawaii and also on the foraging grounds up in Alaska, we can really see how the body, body condition of these animals changes every season and every, and every year. We've now measured 10,000 whales, humpback whales, and when you think about the population estimate here in, uh, in Hawaii is between 12 to 14,000. So it's a significant amount of the animals that are visiting Hawaii we've measured. Now the fact that we also measure them up in Alaska allows us to see how much energy and condition that they lose here in Hawaii and vice versa. If you have a very good year, for example, the conditions are right, you're going to have a lot of prey, things are good for the whales up in Alaska. And a year later you see that the animals are healthy, they're large, you're getting calves. But what we're also finding is when we have a bad year, so uh, climatic events that are not good for prey items up in Alaska. The year later, we have significantly skinnier animals and less calves being born. Uh, and that's really telling us something about the, the health of the oceans uh, is portrayed through these animals. And, and, and we can now, simply by flying a drone over animals, we can say something about the health of the ecosystem. Uh, and that's really, really promising and exciting.
It's kind of coming up right here. Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.